Hello folks, welcome back to the channel. This is going to be our first impressions of the Glass Farms T17 Blackberry Sour. Oh, this has come from Zeal Pharmacy. So this is how Zeal Pharmacy sends your meds in a box marked fragile oh that's uh this is a, this is a very large box for a tiny little jar <laughs> why why and you get some packaging that you can you know have a good time doing that with anyway let's get rid of that and that the label on it is kind of plasticky that can't fade or get rubbed off it's a very plasticky label black Sour, Myrcene, Ossimine, Limonene, 17%. I like that it's got the terpenes written on the label. That's a thing for medicinal weed now. Unlicensed medicine, British Pharmacopoeia, non-irradiated. Keep out of reach and sight of children, vaporization only. Who knew that weed doesn't like the sight of children? Batch number A229457, expires on the 18th of December this year. I'd love to know I have more information. What have we got on Medbud then? So this is 2% CBG. 2% CBG, motherfuckers. We're not just THC. We've got some other things going on. 2% CBG. Wow. 17% THC. 67 quid for this. So yeah, £6.70 a gram. 67 quid for 10 grams. Myrcene, limine, osamine, nerolidol. It's a strain estimate. I mean, it's got them written on there, but it doesn't give you any more information or any more data. There's no percentages. Uh, it's going to come in at between 15.3 and 18.7%. THC. It's a hybrid. 2% CBG. I like the idea of that. The Glass Farms is the first UK commercial license granted by the Home Office. Glass Farms hold the first ever UK commercial license granted by the Home Office to supply high THC cannabis flour to lawful third parties such as pharmaceutical companies. Our cultivation is clinician led and we use precision chemotypes that have proven efficacy in the real world. World leading biosecurity and testing ensure our products are free from contaminants like heavy metals, fungi and mold. What does that mean? World leading biosecurity. No added importation costs, supply chain issues, cost savings. Consistency is key in growing plants for use in human medicines. In our proprietary cultivation process more than 10 different growing factors are controlled by using AI. This extraordinary control over conditions mean that the end product is consistent time and time again. Yeah they have like robots and stuff. I remember looking at the website and they have robots and stuff moving the plant through. I think it's had a 12 month cycle which they don't really they need to do 12 months do they? Yeah, it sounds interesting on the one hand, but also, does that, do they have a master grower? Or is it just robots and AI? And we'll just get what we're given. Or do they have people actually in there properly checking stuff out? So I've got the Tangerine Boost coming in as well. So this is Myrcene, Limonene, Osamine, Neralidol. So there's only a little bit minor amounts of neural, Neralidol. Not far off being equal splits between Myrcene, Limonene, Osamine, but that is a strain estimate. Its parents are Cherry Pie, which is a hybrid, and an unknown Indica hybrid. Should we just check what fucking smell we've got, if anything? Yes! Okay, that's not full. That's not been gassing in some way. It's got their logo on it, though. Foil top. Oh, oh it's full! Not smelling anything yet. Okay. Now, to me, that's mainly a plant material smell. I'm not really getting any skunky, funky smell from that. It's a, quite a lot of buds. Fairly chunky sizes. Well, there's a bunch of purple. Not a lot of purple, but a bunch of purple. And it's trimmed really nicely, and it looks nice. Looks lovely, in fact. And it's still got some spring and give in it as well. It doesn't feel wet. Oh, yeah, that's crumbling. That's just about managing a finger crumble. Yeah, there's very little smell on that. Very little smell. I'm not getting any blackberry. I'm not getting any sour. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. This looks... This looks strange as well. That doesn't look... Okay, this is weird. This is weird weed. That's just falling apart. That is strange. I've never known any what that is so weird the stems of the leaves look like they're still they're still green inside and they're still exactly the same size as they would be if they were still growing on the plant they haven't what is going on that is not dehydrated properly at all that is now just falling apart like it's been desiccated this is weird weed man this is not good all right there's a vague hint of something in there but it's not really flower it's not cannabis i'm gonna go first attempt 
mite. I'm going to do the mighty uh, tiny mite because it shows off flavour, I think, probably the best out of all these devices. This seems really strange. So we're on low temp. I'm only on three. Let's change the battery. Wow. Yeah, that doesn't smell right. What is going on? I've not vaped anything today, so we'll see. But it's it's looking dead. There's no sparkle on it at all, or barely any sparkle. You open it up, there's no sparkle whatsoever. Maybe I haven't got enough light on it. It smells green. It smells so green. It smells of it smells of chlorophyll. And it's just so bizarre that the look, editing Mr. Salad here. Just wanted to say that that's the end of the first look. Um, I was so what the hell is this stuff that I went straight into showing the bud on camera. So as we all know, YouTube doesn't like those videos. So if you want to actually see what I'm talking about, you're gonna have to go and have a look at the video that you need to sign in to view. You'll see why in part two. See you there.